Hello students and fellow CAD enthusiasts, it's Mark Sadler. Today I wanted to show you a quick video on how to apply our standard course startup settings to AutoCAD version 2021. Here we have brand new straight out of the box AutoCAD 2021 and the startup settings are a little bit different from they were uh, when we were working in previous versions. So if you're on the startup page like uh, I am then you can open up the floor plan sample. If you don't see floor plan sample, then open up any DWG file and all of the settings can be done, but you need to be in a DWG file. So let's just open up floor plan sample. Say yes when it asks you about read only files. The first thing you want to do is just put your pointer in the work area and right click and at the bottom of the pop up menu choose options. Then, within Options, click on the Display tab. Under Show Tool Tips, uncheck Show Extended Tool Tips. Uncheck the one that says Show Extended Tool Tips. Then go over to the right side and increase the crosshair size by moving the slider up to 50%. Okay, then we're going to go to the Selection tab over near the right end of the tabs. We're going to make the pick box size a couple of notches bigger. I'm going to put mine right underneath the uh, save word in the open and save tab. And for the grip size, it looks pretty good the way it is. I think I'm going to keep that the way it is. Well, you might want to make it one notch smaller, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it. All right, then we're going to look at the um, selection modes and we definitely want to get rid of the option that says allow press and drag for lasso about halfway down on the left side uncheck allow press and drag for lasso underneath that under window selection method the default says both automatic detection we're going to pull that down there are three options we're going to choose the press and drag middle option press and drag then we're going to move over to the right side and near the bottom in the right column there's uh, under selection preview when no command is active we want to uncheck when no command is active then we'll apply all the settings that we've changed and hit ok to close down the options dialog box next we're going to go to the customization menu we're just going to go down here to the bottom right corner and the hamburger button it looks like a side elevation of a hamburger with two buns and meat in the middle uh, hover over it, it says customization we're going to go ahead and click that and this is a little bit different from some earlier versions so uh, we're going to first check dynamic input now uh, keep in mind the check marks here don't turn dynamic input on or off what they do is they make the button visible or not visible down here in the uh, status bar. So uh, now we're just making it visible mainly so that we can turn it off later. So I'm going to put a check mark next to dynamic input. Then I'm going to go halfway down. I'm going to turn on selection cycling. Actually, I'm going to make it visible. Then I'm going to go down to these three options which are in a box together annotation visibility auto scale and annotation scale i'm going to uncheck all three of those we're going to not use annotation then uh we'll keep these checked uh, oh we also want to uncheck annotation monitor that's another switch that has to do with the annotation and we're going to stay well clear of the annotation system then we're going to go down a little further and um, we're going to turn off isolate objects and we're going to turn off clean screen. Now that decreased the number of buttons in our uh, command uh, in our status bar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn off dynamic input. That's the uh, one, two, three, fourth button from the left. We're going to turn ortho mode on by clicking it. If it's blue, it's on. If it's gray, it's off. We're also going to turn, um, let's see, 
We're going to turn object snap tracking off. That's the button that looks like a V turned on its side. And we're going to go over to object snap. Now we want that on and we want to change the snap options that are available in our basket of snaps. So look to the uh, down arrow that's just to the right of the object snap button and click that down arrow. At the bottom of the pop-up menu is a button called object snap settings. Let's click that and open up. This is your basket of snaps and we're going to make a few changes here. In the left column, uh, keep endpoint checked and put a check mark next to midpoint. Put a check mark next to midpoint. We want to include the midpoint snap in our basket of snaps. Skip over geometric center. We don't need that in our basket. Click uh, check mark on node and on quadrant. We want those in our basket of snaps. Then move over to the right column and uncheck extension. Put a check mark next to perpendicular. And that is our new settings for the basket of snaps. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now down here I see another button that I intended to turn off, which is isometric drafting. And uh, it's visible. So let's go into the customization menu. And about the third of the way down from the top is isometric drafting. I want to uncheck isometric drafting. We use the F5 key to cycle between the three faces of isometric drafting, so we don't really need a button down here. All right, so that is our uh, status bar. We're also going to go up to Layer Properties. Now, uh, make sure you're in the Home tab of the ribbon, and in the middle of the ribbon you'll see Layer Panel. And a big button to the left side of the Layers panel says Layer Properties. Let's go ahead and click that button. Now, the first thing we're going to do, uh, this is a dialog box that sometimes causes trouble with its docking. So we're going to go to the gear-shaped button that says Properties. See the uh, gray bar over to the left side of this dialog box? It's very close to the edge of my screen, and uh, I'm just going to be really careful, and I'm going to go to the gear-shaped button. It says Properties when you hover over it. I'm going to click that Properties button, and I'm going to uncheck Allow Docking. That way, there's no way that I can make a mistake and accidentally dock this thing in such a way that it covers up the whole screen. It's annoying when that happens. So now it cannot dock. I'm going to grab it by the gray bar, just click and drag, move it about an inch away from the left side of your screen, and stretch the right side. You hover over the right border of the dialog box. See that double white arrow that appears? You have to hover carefully. Click and drag until it's eh, several inches wide. Now, you notice how a lot of these words are cut off. Uh, they call it truncating. Uh, we're going to fix that by hovering over the gray line between, uh, well, actually, let's just hover over the name uh, column title. You see the name button at the top of the column? Hover over the name column, name, uh, the, hover over the name column title, right click, and click on Maximize All Columns. Maximize All Columns. Now you can read everything that's in this table. Looks much better. We're also going to widen the filters box, which is over to the far left. Just hover over the gray line. It's faint, but you can barely see a gray line to the left of the status column. Click that double arrow and drag it to the right. Make it about two inches wide. Okay, so now we can see everything that's in the filters column here, and we can see all of the titles of all of the columns. Next, we want to go to the gear-shaped button that's to the top right of this dialog box. Click that gear-shaped button. That opens a dialog box called Layer Settings. Now, the first thing we want to do, and this can be very annoying uh, if you don't do this, New Layer Notification. We want to uncheck the first one, New Layer Notification. It will just uh, cover you up with uh, warnings and error messages if you don't do that. For the uh, Isolate Layer Settings, I'm going to turn it off. Now, you know, sometimes I leave it on and uh, the Lock and Fade 
is a, is a good option if you need to snap to things. Uh, but uh, I'm going to turn it all the way off this time. Okay, then we go over to, let's see, I think all of these settings are good. Yeah, everything on the right side is good. So hit OK. And now we can close this uh, layer properties manager. So let's see the X at the top of the gray bar. Um, just click that. And it'll be ready for us uh, next time we open it up. See, it saves its settings once you do that. We also want, to, while we have it open, hover over the auto hide uh, option, the button that's right below the X. And you see it's sort of like a triangle. Uh, click on that auto hide function. What that does is it uh, shrinks it or collapses the uh, dialog box down to a gray bar. And um, when we want to uh, use it again, you know, we're out here in the work area working, we just hover over that gray bar for a second or two and it opens back up again. Hover outside the dialog box and it closes. What I've discovered is that the edge mode command does not work the way it did previously. And there's really no advantage to changing it, so we're not going to make any changes to edge mode. That's it. Those are the startup settings for 2021 version of AutoCAD. All right, now we're ready to do some CADing.